Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, and today for the NorCal RC, I want to kind of talk to you guys about something that I kind of previously mentioned uh, in yesterday's post, uh, talking about, you know, making sure that you're balancing your physical, mental, and spiritual health and everything like that while doing the RC and not overworking yourself. And one of the things I think that can help people um, to work smarter, not harder, and some of this is going to probably sound like a no brainer to some people, but you'll be surprised how many people never really considered this. Um, and that's doing something while they live stream. And what I mean by that is a lot of people will sit down and they will live stream for six plus hours or around six hours. And then they'll get off and be like, yo, you know, now I have to edit or they'll take a little small break and then go edit for another two, three, you know, however many hours, depending on if they're doing short form or long form. Now, this advice that I'm about to give is going to be um, more geared towards short form content because this might be uh, a little bit easier to do while doing short form content. But um, I'm going to go ahead and say something that might be somewhat mind blowing and some people might be like, whoa, what? Why would I do that? Um, and then, like I said, some people it's not going to apply to because of certain circumstances that I will go ahead and mention uh, relatively soon. So what I'm going to tell you to do is edit while you're live streaming. Show your chat how you're editing your videos. Sit down, have a conversation with chat, show them the programs and stuff that you use and everything. And we'll get to some other specifications on what you should do um, in certain case use case scenarios, because I know some people are going to be like, well, I'm not going to be able to do that because X, Y and Z. Um, we'll get to that in a sec. But the reason why I say to do this is because, like I said, managing your time uh, in, a, in a better way. I understand people need to grind for clips for like, let's say Call of Duty, Apex, you know, Valorant, Fortnite, whatever it may be. Um, or you actually have to do a recording session in order to get those footages for like Lethal Company, uh, the back rooms, whatever it might be. So obviously, like I said, there's going to be some use cases where this is not going to apply to you. But if you already have footage and you know you have to edit after you stream, start your stream off with like an hour or maybe an hour and a half. If you are going to go six plus hours, start the first two hours. I, I know you're waiting for people to play with, you know, all that stuff, whatever, but you should start incorporating that into your thing. Because for one, you can get active feedback from your chat if you do have people come to your live streams and stuff like that. And on top of that, like I said, people who are actually interested in your content can see how the process is done. It's like when people, you know, are making graphic designs and they're streaming it. You get to see the process, even if that person doesn't fully understand. There's people I watch like uh, NorCal Gray, phenomenal, just absolutely mind blowing artwork. I have no idea what he is doing in Photoshop, literally none. But I will sit that there and watch that man work for hours, like for real. So again, you're going to have those people that are like, hey, just play the game you know, or whatever it may be. And like I said, you might have to, uh, you know, play the game with certain friends or something like that. But overall i would say don't forget to be able to use that to your capabilities and everything so that way when you get off and you walk away from your setup and all that stuff everything is pretty much done um now what i was talking about earlier is about not applying to some people like i said if you're playing a game where you have to get footage and actively record with other people and stuff like that of course don't waste their time um it's up to you if you want to wake up a little bit earlier uh than the agreed to supposed time to you know collaborate or record together or whatever that's going to be up to you um so i'm not going to tell you to you know disrespect other people's time but again if you have short form content or wherever and you know you can edit the shorts like add the subtitles if you have an ai bot or something like that or you have the formula or the format already in your head or like what you can how you're going to script the structure the the video or wherever shorts you know typically i would read i would i would uh, hazard to guess that it won't take that long to come up with a script or something for a short form video versus something that's a long form video that's going to take you 10 15 minutes or wherever of, of an actual video because you got to gather all the clips edit add music do all this stuff wherever and make it really pop and obviously the video length sometimes will uh you know obviously take more time to do that versus a short form that's going to be 30 seconds or a minute i'm not saying some people do take a long time to edit shorts and it takes a lot of effort to do it and everything that's not what i'm saying especially good quality shorts but sometimes if you're just doing titles and like like i said you have uh 
a AI generated bot or wherever for your editing software. Like I have one, I know um, DaVinci Resolve has it. If you pay $300 for that software, they have the AI and I'm pretty sure Adobe After Effects or whatever else is out there. They probably have some kind of subtitle uh, generator to where you just have to check the spelling and stuff like that. And of course, find font and all that stuff. So again, doing voiceover, recording it and stuff like that. Um, it is going to take some time, but I would say within an hour and a half to two hours or wherever of editing, if you're, you know, form over function, if you're, you know, doing a lot of uh, speedy work or wherever, and you're used to that type of fast workflow for shorts, um, it might be interesting to try out. And like I said, you're knocking two birds out with one stone. You're engaging with your community, you're live streaming and everything. And you're getting work done that you're going to do anyways after stream. And then when you're done with that, you can continue on your six hour plus stream or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I've done it before where, like I've told you guys before, I've only have like four to six hours, depending how long I sleep versus when I get up um, to do content creation. So there's been times where I've sat there the whole entire time and edited a video. Um, what you can do, and I know some com people's computers can't handle uh, rendering and streaming at the same time, what I would suggest is editing those videos, saving them as different projects or files or wherever. So when you're done streaming, all you have to do is render each one, you know what I'm saying? And at 30 seconds or wherever, depending on the type of PC that you have, wouldn't it take that long. So, you know, you come back and check, oh, it's done. And then you rent, you open the next project profile and you render the next one and so on and so forth. But you've already edited like two or three uh, short form content before you even got into actually gaming or making any other thing as far as recording or hitting clips or something like that in a game. So that's just my opinions and my thoughts on, you know, adding something a little bit different to your live streams or wherever and knocking, like I said, two birds out with one stone. And hopefully I understand some people's, like I said, computers can't handle um, running uh, my PC that I used to have or wherever couldn't even run the editing program when I first started doing content creation and streaming at the same time. So I know there's going to be some limitations with that. And again, I know some people can't render a 4K video or whatever it may be, you know, with the max FPS and stuff like that and live stream, you know what I'm saying? And then go off to play the video game at the same time. Most people don't even have two PC setups and most people edit and, you know, game and all that stuff on one PC and they just use their streaming PC literally just to have OBS open. So I, I get all the, the different avenues and stuff like that. But some people are in a situation like I am where I could render a video and just sit there and talk to chat and let, you know, the 30 second clip render in like five minutes, if that, you know, so or like I said, you could just save the video projects for later and render them when you're done streaming. So again, hopefully that helps out. I know this again it won't apply to everybody, but I think it's a valuable tip that some people may be overlooking or never really gave it a second thought or a chance or whatever, especially during the RC when you got a lot of stuff going on, you got IRL stuff going on, and on top of that, you have to make your own content and do stuff for the challenge and everything like that. Um, hopefully this you know speeds up the process and the workflow for some people out there with that being said my name has been squidhead joe hopefully you guys continue to have a squid task today god bless you and yours and deuces everybody i will see you guys in the next one